closing in on game time at Wrigley Field. It's the White Sox and the Cubs, and it comes your way next. There are few better places in America to spend an afternoon than this place right here. Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, in high definition, it's an exhibition matchup between the Chicago White Sox and their crosstown rivals to the north, the Chicago Cubs. With that, we welcome you inside the broadcast booth. Matt Vaskirchen here with you. I'm joined in the booth by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Before we get to them, let's take a look here at the starting lineup for the visiting Chicago White Sox. As Robin Ventura has them lined up this way. They'll match up against a former wide receiver turned reliever turned starter, the hard throwing right hander Jeff Samarja. Adam Eaton digs in at the plate. Full count offering on its way. On the ground softly to short. And the throw by Castro takes care of him for the first down. So a ground out to short gets us started. And with that, let's take a look at the Cubs alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Alexi Ramirez will dig in here. The 3-1 is on the way. Had him on his front foot as this is chopped foul to the left. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Adam Dunn will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Runners on first with one down. And Dunn able to hold off on that one. Smart move there as it's one and two. And that works almost like a pitch out there. Just in case he's thinking about it. Here's a look over to first. A dive, but he's back. Dunn with that open stance. And here's the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Gets away. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Wow. A real sharp break to this thing. It's a slider. He starts it out over the middle of the plate. Now the hitter thinks he's got something that he can handle, and then this thing just makes a beeline right for his hands. That is a tough pitch. Paul Canerco will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. On, 
called strike and he's behind one and two. And Canerco lays off a pitch that misses, so it's back to even at two and two. Well, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Now, a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Bottom of the first straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. A look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs now. They'll match up against one of the toughest around, the all-star lefty Chris Sale. Behind him, the White Sox defensively will line up like this. Starlin Castro will get his first shot at it here. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. And a rather easy first out. And as a pitcher, you always have to remember that once you let go of the pitch, you've got to become an infielder. Here's a guy that fields his position well, so he's in great position to spear this thing and then get the easy out at first. Luis Valbuena will stand in for the first time here. To two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. He'd obviously love a one, two, three here to start the first. And after a ground out and a strikeout, he's two thirds of the way there. Anthony Rizzo will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. 1-1 one, one on the way. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. After one, no score. Gordon Beckham leads things off now in the top half of the second. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. The next 3-2. 
Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Yeah, make it three straight strikeouts for him now. But, but what's impressive is that these aren't just any hitters up there. These are the three, four, and five guys in the lineup. And he went through them like they weren't even there. Alejandro de Aza steps in now. Lays off two and two now. A few groans from the faithful here. <laughs> they wanted strike three. Put him away. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Connor Gillespie will get his first opportunity now. Strike him out. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Sweeney is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. That ball was hit well and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead he hit it to the big part of the ballpark and he's retired. Tyler Flowers will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Here's the full count offering. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. A man left for the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Nate Sherholz will start things off in the bottom of the second. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh, and he's waiting on the fastball that time as he belts one high and deep to right center. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Well, he's right on the fastball here. You get a look, gets that bat head out front, just rips his ball into the alley and right. Gets the inning started with a nice leadoff double. Junior Lake will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. And this is lifted high in the air down the line behind third. Gillespie will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Well, any time you get an RBI guy to the plate with less than two outs, he does that, he is not happy. That's the kind of at-bat that'll stick with you for a while. Ryan Sweeney will be the batter. And he gets around on the fastball here and sends one deep down the right field line. Dunn has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for route number two. And now, looking back on this inning, the failure to get the guy to third in the previous at-bat probably cost him a run there. Now, sometimes these seem like little mistakes at the time, but now he's still at second with two away. Wellington Castillo 
will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. From the belt, the pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now, he does have first base open, so he doesn't have to come in right here. He can try to make that perfect pitch, and you know what? If he misses, who cares? Line hard, but foul. Slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. 